If you're a parent, or if you've ever come across a child who has fallen, bumped their knee, skinned their knee, what's the very first thing you do? Well, you wiggle it, or you rub it. And why do we do that? Well, if you think about it, right, the sensations from that skinned or bumped knee have to get to the brain to be interpreted as pain. What if we were able to scramble that sensation by introducing a counter stimulus, the rubbing or wiggling of the area can actually help to blunt the pain sensation that is actually felt. Which means if we have two competing stimulus and the one that gets there first is the touch or vibration, patients will tend to feel that touch or vibration and feel less of the pain itself. Again, the gate control theory, and I love this picture. This picture helps to illustrate what we're talking about. Again, you have two competing stimuluses. The one that gets there first will be the one that is felt by the brain. And we know from that previous graph that the type A beta fibers will win that race.